So we had a babysitter all lined up tonight. Danae plays indoor soccer, and we realized that we might have about an hour if we wanted to go out and do some shooting. So we decided, you know, what the heck, we'll grab the, the gear and we'll head out and do a little photo duel um, like we've done in the past. Only this time we had less time before we ran out of light and, uh, you know, we were a little more rushed. So the quality may not be quite what we would have hoped, but definitely still worth it. And uh, just glad we could get out and do some shooting. Sometimes it's hectic, life gets hard. You just have to make time, you know? Um, keep those skills sharp, stay frosty and all. And I'm lucky that I'm married to a woman who uh, enjoys it as much as I do. So anyway, we uh, rushed out and did some photography. Not in an ideal location, and not where we would choose if we had all the time in the world. But, um, you know, it was fine. Uh, I would have preferred more people. And you know, because we were so rushed, we neglected to flip the on switch on our shotgun mic on the video. <laughs> so you'll get to watch some of the footage uh, with some fun music. But yeah, none of our quippy dialogue this time, unfortunately. As far as gear, um, you'll see that Danae had the X100S. That's kind of her favorite these days for street photography. We're both really excited that the uh, X-T2 is coming out. We're, we've got it pre-ordered, hoping to get it next week. Really excited about that. Um, I don't have any Fuji X lenses though, so I haven't really decided what to get along with it. Um, part of me is thinking about you know, getting a, a, getting a 23 millimeter to plate and then sell this thing. But we've loved this so much. I don't know. I don't know if we haven't decided what to do yet. But, uh, but yeah, if anyone has any recommendations, let me know as far as what lenses to start with. Um, I'll do some videos on that most likely. So anyway, the name was with this. I uh, took out, um, this is a special camera to us. This is Danae's father's camera that he shot with when he in his younger years. It's the Ricoh KR10 SE. And, uh, um, you know, it's interesting, Danae is a little, she doesn't like film too much, um, which is ironic because she grew up shooting film. She's a, actually shot in a studio with film. But for me, I'm the opposite. I didn't really do much photography until the digital age. So, the digital age, until digital cameras came out. I've really been enjoying film lately, and when, whenever we go out, um, I feel like my tech knowledge is definitely exceeds Danae's in many ways, so to level the playing field a little bit, I, I try, and because I like the challenge, I, I usually try to shoot film. So anyway, I took the Rico out. It's got a Helios 44 on it, and I know that's a strange choice. I actually got this a while ago, not for this camera. Um, because I wanted to check out the whole spirally bokeh that, that, you know, the fan, the cult following the Helios lovers use. I've actually never shot with it, though. I bought it thinking I would do some spirally bokeh shots a while ago, and I never, never did use it. So tonight is the maiden voyage for me with this Helios. Um, it's got an adapter on it. So anyway, um, unfortunately, didn't really get an opportunity to do a lot of portraiture, which is why, you know, you would probably use a Helios if you're part of the fan club. Anyway, so I actually haven't developed a film yet. We'll see how it turns out. As far as film, in fact, I'm gonna rewind it now, and it pains me to do so. I've only taken 15 shots, but I'm really anxious to get this video out, so, you know, the other 18 shots or so are just not gonna get done. So I'm gonna rewind this and then show you what we're dealing with here. If I remember how to rewind. There we go. Okay. All right, so I chose to shoot with, so I've never shot with this before. In fact, I, what I did recently, I'm, I'm a huge fan of black and white. I just ordered a ton of different film off of B&H just to see what I like. And so this is a Roly 
RPX 400. I'm pushing it to 1600 um, since we we're dealing with some pretty low light. So anyway, um, yeah, this was more expensive than the other. So again, pains me to develop it early. But like I said, I just don't want to wait uh, to, to get this video out. So that's what we shot with. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Definitely, please, please let us know if you have a favorite as far as who you think took the best shots tonight. to mention I found this superior extra in my uh, my wife's dad's Rico that I showed you earlier and I don't have any memory of this being film that I shot with but um, I mean it's not old enough to be from her dad but maybe it was her when she's younger I don't know I'm not sure where this came from it could have been me I have purchased this sort of film before a long time ago so and we've had this camera for you know 11 years so I could have done it at some point so I'm going to try to develop this and see what we get now the the thing is I don't uh, actually develop color I've never done that and I don't really want to and I'm you know don't want to take it to the drugstore really so I'm just going to develop this in black and white I have no idea the exp the development time for developing this I'm just going to throw the superior in with my Roly you know I don't know what's on there and I don't want to take it to a pharmacy so here we go I think I'm going to pull the film out after the stop bath just to see and I know that you know some people say oh you shouldn't expose it any more to light until after you've fixed it but I don't think that's right I think it's fine if anything it might just get a little foggy so anyway I'm gonna pull it out and see before I fix it and maybe I'll throw it back in the developer a little longer <laughs> Okay, I've done my quote unquote stop bath. I just use water. Let's 
see what we've got. So here we have two films. Of course, the in both cases, it looks like with the Fuji also, it's uh, the last few were not exposed. So let's see what we get. This is the Roly RXP. Actually, I'm going to leave that alone because that should be correct. I'm just going to look here at the... Hey, look at that. There's definitely something on there. You know, in my experience, and I'm again, I'm really am a noob to this. Um, it's kind of hard to mess film up. So anyway, this superior looks fine. So I'm gonna put it back in and use the fixer on both films. use distilled water the last rinse because our water is pretty hard right here in Highland Utah this tends to keep it from mucking up getting those hard water stains on the film I used to get those all the time even when I used a little bit of dish soap so don't do it that way anymore Distilled water and then squeegee seems to get most of it out. So the C41, the Superior, um, was overdeveloped, but fortunately it was only overdeveloped just a little bit and nothing that Lightroom can't handle. Okay, so uh, I just scanned all the film and have been looking through it. Um, so it turns out that those shots are shots that I did take of my dog on the uh, that Helios 44 lens right after I got it. I had no memory of that. Um, took about you know 16 exposures and had left it inside the rico just didn't remember anyway so that's fun that's one of the aspects you gotta love about film you know you find film that you don't have any recollection of shooting and develop it and but anyway um yeah that was some photos of my dog in addition to be o over processed the fact that i mean it's a black and or it's a color film put the black and white you'll see here like I'll let me pull one up uh, it's just not very contrasty. It's not as punchy as most black and white film. Certainly not the Roly RXP here. Okay, well, I've yammered enough about film, and that's not why you're here, right? Nobody's here to hear me talk about film. We are here, as we all know, to decide who is the better photographer, Danae or Andrew. I showed you the, the photos as we were taking them, but I wanna show them to you one more time, back to back, and uh, let you decide who was the victor, who was the better photographer in this evening's photo duel. <laughs>
think that both of us are just terrible photographers, which very well may be the case, you know. Uh, we love photography, but don't claim to be the best by any stretch of the imagination. But we are very competitive, so we would like to hear it. If you wouldn't mind leaving a short comment and telling us who you think did a better job this night. Cosplay or what? I, on Amazon. Amazon yeah. Oh, just, yeah. just for fun? Oh, I got this at the Disney store, actually. Nice. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Can we get a picture of you with it? Yeah. One more, one more. Thanks, Steve. Cool. <laughs>